Considered to be one of the city's most prolific drug dealers, was indicted in federal court for his alleged crimes. Weeks ago, he was picked up by the sheriff's office in Baton Rouge, accused of selling deadly fentanyl on the streets. The investigative unit in Chris Nakamoto explained how detectives caught up with him. Frank Beecham is no stranger to law enforcement. He's been arrested two other times on drug charges. Last month, investigators say he sold fentanyl on three different occasions to a confidential informant. That led to his arrest again and the seizure of massive amounts of cash. EBR sheriff's deputies say Frank Beecham used this unsuspecting house on 71st Avenue as a stash location and distribution point for narcotics sales. Deputies had their eyes on him for a while, according to court records. Two years ago, EBRSO made three controlled fentanyl purchases from Beecham at some of the same locations that were put back into commerce for drug transactions. They say he continues to use this house on 71st Avenue and the house next to it that's boarded up for selling drugs. It comes as Baton Rouge continues to see a troubling trend with the number of fentanyl overdoses. Anything that you buy from the street, all the way down to marijuana, uh, cocaine, methamphetamine, any sorts of pills that come from the street, there's a very high probability that it's been adulterated with fentanyl and it could kill you. To combat the illicit drug trade, a team of agents paid Frank Beecham's home a visit on Avenue J, locating Suboxone, weapons, and $27,000 in cash. 14 different agents then paid a visit to 7800 Howell Boulevard and executed a search warrant on a safety deposit box, uncovering $120,000 in cash wrapped in cellophane. Documents show that pre-recorded EBRSO funds used to purchase fentanyl from Beecham during the investigation were located and commingled with the U.S. currency located in Beecham's safety deposit box here. This is the third case sheriff's deputies have completed on Beecham since 2019, and he remains out on bond on the other two cases. There's a, a lot of work being done that I can't talk about, but um, law enforcement locally is looking at each one of these deaths uh, from a intel gathering standpoint and trying to use um, the unfortunate death to uh, connect the dots on who the source of supply who's transporting uh, this poison to the Baton Rouge area and uh, make prosecutable cases on this folks. In this third case involving Beecham, he was brought to court and Judge Ebony Johnson Rose set his bond for $890,000, despite his two other pending cases that have not gone to trial yet. How a suspect managed to get a bond while out on other bonds already has been the focus of lengthy WBRZ investigative unit stories in the past, and it's clear that problem is continuing. The sheriff's office says a large portion of this case was made possible by the fentanyl overtime funding provided by State Senator Bodie White. The sheriff's office has asked a judge to force Beecham to forfeit the cash they confiscated through their search warrants. For the investigative unit, I'm Chris Nakamoto. We reached out to Judge Johnson Rose's office. Judge Rose took our call and said her judicial canons prevent her from talking about any pending cases before her courtroom.